Hi, this is Willie Crawford. I wanted to take a minute or two to show you a new piece of software I've been playing with for actually about three months. Uh, it's a PDF brander that's actually a lot more than a PDF brander. And I want to start out by saying that if you went to Google right now and Google the term PDF brander, I have the number three listing on the entire search engine. And it, it's for a PDF brander that I was forced to pull off the market because of its limitations. It was built on the .NET framework. And if the person who was creating a PDF file or the person who was passed along the rebrandable file with the rebrander tool didn't have the right version of .NET on their machine, it was problematic. So even with the number three listing on Google, I pulled it off the market and then I spent a couple or two years almost looking for something that was a suitable substitute. And uh, that's why I'm so happy right now to show you this new tool. I will take just uh, 10 minutes of your time just to show you how this thing works. Uh, it, it, has, it overcame all the limitations I saw in previous PDF branders to include it lets you rebrand both HTML and uh, or hyperlinks and text and it lets you even rebrand embedded hyperlinks behind images and things like that. The best way to show you how it works is just to, to um, use it but you've got to basically with the, with the package you'll have a license agreement, a release notes, you'll have a user's guide which you should read, a rebrander tool and you have a builder tool. This won't come with it. That's something I was playing with earlier. So you'd open, you'd want to read the notes first of all but then you want to open the rebrander tool and you can see it's a full-fledged word processor that's also lets you create a PDF document right within it but the easiest way to start is to insert an existing document so I'm gonna look and it default to RTF I have a word document I want to use if you have several versions of Word showing up in your menu file that means it, it the program sees what's on your machine or what compatible converters are on your machine and it, you, it, it lets you select which one you want if you have a choice between 97, 2003 and 9702, which mine does, you want 03 because 03 lets you bring across embedded hyperlinks. 02 doesn't, so with 02 you'd have to re-embed the hyperlinks basically. Uh, I'm just going to, and you can see with oh, this version it brought across an embedded hyperlink behind this for example. I, I'm going to just basically create a couple of rebrandable links. I'm going to take this graphic here, going to rebrand WillieCrawford.com or insert a embedded link for WillieCrawford.com. I can type. Okay, I've created the hyperlink as you just saw. Now if I click, you see right now this is not highlighted. If I click here it highlights this table tool and when I click on that it says it's inserted a replaceable file or replaceable section of a document which is an image and what's changeable is the embedded link here. Okay, just going to do a couple more fairly quickly actually. Uh, why don't I grab my picture? I like this picture, right? And um, embed a hyperlink behind that for therealsecrets.com. Okay. Now I'm going to add that to my list of rebrandable links. You can see it's down here already. I'm going to take this block of text. Willie Crawford is a pioneer of internet marketing, da 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 online since 1996. Make all that rebrandable. By clicking here, it added it to the table, and here's where I added. Here's where the end user will change the text. And I'm going to do two more. Let's grab uh, this explicit hyperlink here for three pillars help desk. If I'd used an older version of Word, I'd have to go in and actually type in the box here what I wanted to be embedded behind the text. But as I showed you, when I picked 9703, it brought across that hyperlink. So I highlight it, I add it to the list down here of rebrandable hyperlinks. And I'm going to do one more. Um, going to do my favorite, uh, well, I'm going to do Viral Document Toolkit because I just did Three Pillars Help Desk. Okay, so I've now added these links to this document as rebrandable. You click this Save icon and it saves it. It asks you what you want to call it. I was tickering earlier and I created a document called Go Viral, so I'm going to change, I'm, I'm going to um, create another one with a similar name. I'm going to call it Go Viral 2. And I've just created a rebrandable PDF document. It's actually a VDT file which uh, lets me change the links and, and rebrand them as uh, PDF. So I don't need the builder anymore so I'm going to dismiss it and now I need the brander. You would pass along to your end user the brander file and the rebrandable file I just created which is I'll assume I did that. The end user would uh, unzip it and he'd have this tool which is the brander and he'd have the VDT file we just created. He'd click on this link and browse, and on his hard drive, he'd, he'd you know use 
the uh, browse function to find the file that was rebrandable, we just created this VDT, this uh, viral two. So I open that and it pops open the table instantly that, that shows the end user all of the rebrandable links. Those links were, this was behind that first image, this was behind the second image, this was that block of text, and then the two uh, explicit hyperlinks that, that actually are, have embedded links behind them too. Okay, so you double click in this thing, the table here, which shows all the rebrandable links. And what it does is it pops up the first one, which is behind the image. It shows you it's an embedded link. I'm going to change crawl forward to crawlfish. There we go. And you can see it that did change it right there. Actually, if I, okay, if instead of clicking OK, I click Next, it would have taken me to the next one where I could change the real secrets, to change to R-E-E-E-A-L to R-E-E-L. OK, I did it again. If I click Next, it would take me to the next field where if I didn't want to change this block of text, it expects me to do something. So you can click Copy and it'll just drop down the same block of text. It, it, it lets the program know you at least looked at it and decided not to change it. So you, it wants you to scroll through all of the rebrandable links. Uh, I'm going to change it to Lily Crawford Loves Internet Marketing. Almost as much as he loves fishing. Okay, so change that, these three lines to this one line, click this, and it, you can see it changed it right here. Took me down to this three pillars help desk.com. I'm gonna pretend here that I have a promotional domain that I'm using actually to promote my affiliate link, and that in that, at the promotional domain, which is actually three pillars with a Z help desk, I, uh, I have a like a redirect built into the, the, the URL itself. So I want to change both the display text, which is the visible anchor text, as well as the embedded text. I could just change the embedded text by clicking on this link and then changing that. But I, when you change the anchor text, it actually um, updates both. And you can see right here, it changed that to a Z and took me to the next one, which was Viral Document Toolkit. I want to change that to Viral Document Cool Kit. Boom, and it, it exited this box because it recognized that all of the embedded changeable links had been changed. At that point, all you really have to do is click this button here and it saves your changes. It saves the links you've rebranded. Uh, it only lets you do this once though. It, you can't go back and change them once you've saved them. So you want to double check before you save. Uh, and it's crawfish and R-E-E-L and the Z for three pillars and so I know it's, it's saved. Click this once it says you've changed five links basically it says click the button again to save the document. It's talking about clicking this button up here actually so you acknowledge and you click the button again and it asks you what do you want to call it so you can browse the site where you want to save it. I want to call this go viral 2 I'm not overwriting this document I'm just changing it to go viral 2 that's the title. You've got a bunch of other tabs up here where you can change um, like here you can add encryption here you can set a default viewer you can hide the toolbar menu bar things like that would make it so they couldn't reprint couldn't print the document you know you could just control the document as much as you want to but all I really want is I want to make sure I'm, I'm doing portrait here I want to automatically turn the other links the other URLs in my document into hot links so even the ones that weren't changed are now hot links and I want to open this as soon as it's saved so I can confirm that it, it did properly. I click OK and voila I have a PDF and if I, I hover over this you can see it changed that to crawfish. If we go down to the bottom uh, it changed behind my name to the real secrets.com. It changed the R E E L. I did two other links which were this one, three pillars with a Z and viral document cool kit. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, I hope you like this, and if you did, uh, let me see. Um, I want to get rid of this and tell you that in order to grab this fantastic product or to, or to find out more about it, because I really created this to show to my potential joint venture partners, uh, you'd go to ViralDocumentToolkit.com. That's ViralDocumentToolkit.com, and uh, you can find out all about it there. You can. Um, ask all kinds of questions of the programmer who's my friend David Swartz. I actually wanted to buy this software from him. He wouldn't sell it to me, so uh, I told him I'd still help him to spread the word. Go check out ViralDocumentToolkit.com. Thank you.